My background is that I come from being a full-time nurse. Uh, one day when my wife was six months pregnant, we decided that we wanted to chase this dream of doing photography that would allow us to live, spend more time together. One of the key messages and founding principles of my life is just less is more and just kind of getting rid of things and eliminating the number of things that are cluttering your life to be able to live in the way that you want the van is the very center of that so not only has it allowed us to travel around and I can edit I work I send emails it's also in sync with those core principles that we are trying to communicate so we end up including our van in our work of taking photos of it just to kind of communicate that simplicity of life that has made it a fuller life it is a Dodge Sprinter 2004 with a 158 wheelbase on the outside First off is like paint job. This is a Raptor liner. It's a truck bed liner that's just super durable and so we can drive through bushes, trees, whatever, and not get pinstripes down it. Recently we added this roof rack up here, bars that we attached our awning to. This is a 12 foot Dometic awning. We added this road shower for on top. The solar shower will heat the water up to roughly about 20 degrees warmer than the ambient temperature outside. We disconnect our little sprayer thing. This is great for spraying off things, but for showering, we prefer to use the shower head that uh, screws right on like so. And then you stick it on the door, get a nice hot shower. Uh, recently, I installed a deck. <laughs> it's made out of recyclable materials on the deck and it's a really nice place to just kind of come up, hang out, get some different uh, perspectives. And then also on the outside that you can see from down here is that we stuck a 48 inch light bar on top. And this is our garage, by the way. We can also lock it so it becomes a nice secure area when we're away so people can't break into our vehicle and it just makes it a little bit more difficult to get to our things. We charge our batteries from solar and also from our alternator. Um, and then this little Victron thing, that's been one of my favorite features because it connects Bluetooth and tells me all the information on the batteries and it connects and it tells you how much power you have in your batteries. Right now I'm at 96% and at the power that we're using, we're using power right now so we're 30 watts out and we can do this for 10 days. We did this window frame, kind of make it more aesthetic when you're inside looking out the back, but uh, the doors on the back, little bits of dust will come through when we're on really dusty roads. So we built this uh, insulated board. It keeps the cold out and the sun out and the dust out and everything. And we just stick that in this back door here, this back window, and that goes into place. And then if I wanna come back here, pack my bags to go on an adventure during the cold, really cold temperatures or really hot temperatures, this prevents any heat or cold exchange going at, in or out. I uh, recently added this one wheel to the whole setup because I live in the van with my family and moving the house all the time. Like early in the morning I do photography, I want to go to a spot, do some photos, I want to just go explore the roads and stuff. So just kind of exploring towns and it's so much fun that I've been able to explore seeing places in a lot more, more extensively. So this is where Zoe sits. We installed the seat and it's on a swivel base so we can face it out the door and we can just kind of um, enjoy sitting here because it's ultra comfortable and you just enjoy, enjoy that. You can turn over here and enjoy the inside of the van and then just kind of kick back. And then it's because it's so comfortable, you just, you know, <laughs> lay out. You can look at the stars, you can do whatever, you know, like um, this is a high density foam bed. We have two pillows up right here on the bed. When we want to go to sleep, we grab these sections. We bring them down here. We get below the bed and we take out this board that just goes right behind between the bed. We take those cushions, we put them right here. And then you bring over the bed uh, sheet, the fitted bed sheet, and it holds them right into place. 
This is an undermount sink and we love this thing. It's super deep, but uh, what makes it work is that we have this board, which is our cutting board. We can do all kinds of things with this, um, but that fits right on top of that sink. Expands our space, turn this to the side, and then you put those cushions there, you bring them over and you have a nice full bed. And then right back here, we have our magical composting toilet that is on a slider, slides right out. We have this dual burner propane stove. We do a lot of cooking. We cook all of our meals, so it saves us a ton of money. And so this thing has been really important. Right here, we have a fake drawer, uh, just folds down. We keep a couple of rags in here to clean things off. And then we also have a switch for our electric magnet that holds our fridge into place. Right now it's on a little bit of a slant, so the, without that magnet on, the fridge slides out. But we turn off that magnet and it releases our 65 liter Dometic uh, chest fridge. Something important to note is that the faces of all the cabinets here is old pallets, so they have a lot of character wear on them. Uh, we whitewashed that and the, the ceiling and then we went back and sanded them to give them an older look. Um, just taking care of all the metal and making sure all the metal is covered up has made a big difference. Putting window frames around our windows. Yeah, we added this little box between our seats because when you're sitting up front, this floor is really low and we like to have snacks. This was the initial reason why we did this. So we could reach our snacks and they did also didn't slide to the back of the van or anything. So we put in this box, but then it's like, well, we have a box that raised up Let's put a lid in it and it's been really useful for keeping my camera equipment and uh, just whatever else I want to have close to me while I'm driving. Lastly, we added this uh, shelf right up above simply to hold Zoe's little toys or books, uh, our books, glasses. Our plant ended up drying out in the sand dune so we got to replace our plant and we have a little cuckoo clock that we brought back from Italy. When you build a van out, that's just kind of how it is, is that you always think of little projects to make it a little bit more comfortable. So you're, you're never really completely done with your van build, I feel like. The couch is really great. We can put two people on it, sit around. Below it, we keep food, we keep a blender, basically anything in this massive area for it. We travel as a family. We have a two and a half, she's now two and a half years old, and we refuse to co-sleep with our kid because she likes to crawl around. She, gets fussy if we want to put her to bed. So Natasha came up with this ingenious idea. I'm super stoked on it. But uh, what happens is this cushion doubles as Zoe's bed. So up here above our cab, we keep this uh, beautifully crafted tent that has little carabiner, double-sided carabiners, and we hook it onto these eye hooks here on the bottom of the cabinetry that holds up this little tent and we just stick this right in the tent here. We're able to close this off with these buttons and she can also peek out, does like a shining moment when she pulls these apart and looks out the door. Oh, it's so cool. You wanna go, you wanna go inside? No? <laughs> and that's exactly why we need to lock her inside because <laughs> sleeping is not her thing. She's a little explorer, I think, uh, tr doing the whole van life stuff. Raising our daughter in the outdoors is the most important thing to us um, because being in the outdoors is the best lifestyle and the best life that we know. By having our daughter, we wanted to give her the best life that we know. And that is being in the outdoors, camping and exploring and seeing the, just the world that we live in and the beauty of it went camping with her for the first time when she was three weeks old. We did a four day backpack with her for the first time. When we are at our stationary home, she does well, but you can tell that she gets restless. She wants to explore. So being in the van, it, it's hard to explain what the outdoors are, but you can see it in her nature and her personality when she's at indoors as opposed to outdoors. And the more time that we spend outdoors, she just seems to become a lot more centered. And what has made it probably the most difficult in the van is that it's that work-life balance where we are in places that we want to be all the time. We want to go and explore. We want to just like in, sit back and relax and enjoy the place. But, uh, and work, we're getting on the computer, just hashing out emails, 
sending photos, doing all these different things that you got to do to be able to maintain a business is really difficult because you want to just sit back and enjoy the place. For me, for photography, for family, for just life in general, it's kind of been the perfect solution. And uh, I could do this for, I feel like for a, a long time.